As I promised you in my last video, today we're gonna take a closer look at the ClickUp Chrome extension, what it all can do and what they did with the new update. Welcome to everybody that's new here. My name is Yvonne with askev.com and on my YouTube channel right here, you will find lesson learned and how to videos to get you more productive and efficiency than you were yesterday. And today we are talking about ClickUp and their new and updated Chrome extension, which I am in love with. So let's head over to my computer and see why I love it that much and how it can make your life easier, more streamlined, and just running smoother. So let's get you started with the ClickUp Chrome extension. To install it, if you haven't done so yet, go to clickup.com forward slash Chrome minus extension. There you'll find the button, or you can go straight up to the Chrome Web Store, search for ClickUp, you'll find the extension. And if you don't have it installed yet, you will see the install button right up here. Just follow the instructions. It's really simple, no big deal. Once you have that done, you will see on any other page, pretty much this little gizmo pop up down here. It also plugs in right into your Gmail, just saying. But let's start with the new pieces of this extension. You get the new ClickUp logo right down here. You can bookmark this page, which adds a bookmark to one of your tasks in ClickUp. Really great if you're doing research, just keep adding those bookmarks to your list. You also have the screenshot feature right there, the entire screen or where you can screenshot just a selected area. You got some additional things where you can point, or boxes, there's all kinds of things. Screenshot features, we've seen those in other tools too. Let's click out of that. The next thing we have on there is track time. So your ClickUp time tracker now is everywhere you go. Really cool. You can already choose specific tasks, specific jobs that are already existing in your ClickUp and you can just track your time right there. No more going into ClickUp and coming back and spending more of your time finding your tools and using your tools. It's right there. That little plus button right there that we haven't talked about yet is create a new task. I find the right space. In this case, it's PCM. I find the right jobs wherever it has to go. In this case, client work, we will talk about my workflows in here at another given time. I have a client work here. I have a client right there. We had a task title and we create the task. Now you already get your shortcuts right here popping up, but considering we usually pop those away because you don't need to jump right in it. You made it and plugged it over into ClickUp to get it done later. So at a later given time, you go into ClickUp, you go into your space, and right there is the task. How I love to use the ClickUp Chrome extension is this little gizmo right here. In my emails, I can click those and it adds that email as a task to my workflow, meaning I create a new task with it. As you can see, the email is already attached to it. I find the right workspace. In this case, it's PCM, my client work. I choose the client and I say, create new task. Now at this point right now, I could jump in and see the task right away, but most commonly that's not gonna happen. You're just throwing it on your to-do list and you need to get it done later. As you can see, because it's a ClickUp task now, it has that little button right up here that used the title of the email as the task name. You can change that when you set that up, no big deal. You can link from it from there. So in that job email, you have the button right on top. You don't even have to go straight up into ClickUp and try to find it. 
it's right here. You can put your notes and tasks, whatever it is. You can open up the email. You don't even have to leave ClickUp. If you want to get back into your Gmail, you have the possibility here. You can also open up a new tab. You have all the other features that we already know about. Or you can go into your ClickUp and there it is as an open task right where I put it. Open it up. All the information is right there. That's how I handle my customer support tickets straight up from email. People just don't really want to deal with the system. They just want to email me. It is what it is. They email me. I plug them in, connect them over to ClickUp, get it in my client workflow. As you can see, I've been playing around and I really like this setup. Um, putting a project together that is just client work and every client gets their own task list right in there. I bring my clients in, but all of this in another video and especially when 2.0 comes out to make sure you guys get to see how it's going to look in the future and not just right now. If you like the video and you learned something new or got value out of it, please consider liking it below so other people can find it too. Subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time a new video gets uploaded.